Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the 18th day of January. It's National Michigan Day, National Peking Duck Day. So mm. if you see a duck peeking around today, that's why. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, it's a whole different kind of peeking duck. National Thesaurus Day. Is there another word for that? I don't think so. All right. National Winnie the Pooh Day and Martin Luther King Jr. Day today. All of those things happening. And it's a movie star Monday. My guest today is Bill Leff. He was uh, in the movies uh, Major League and I think Major League Two. Is that what they called the second one? Anyway, he was in those. Uh, He's also uh, got a career in radio and voiceovers and all kinds of stuff. But now you can find him on MeTV. He's doing a thing called Tune In With Me. And it's like each weekday morning they have cartoons on MeTV. And then now they have Saturday morning cartoons as well. Okay. Can I chat with them all about that? It's the cartoons like we grew up watching. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty darn cool. I'm excited to chat with him all about that coming up in just a bit. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A study by the American Psychological Association found the majority of people would not want to know their fate in life, even if it was a positive fate. So they're saying... If I could tell you the next 10 years, do you want to know? And they're like, mm, no, I really don't. No, I don't would think you? I would either. No. I don't either. And I know there was a movie, I'm trying to think, Big Fish. In that movie, Big Fish, he was able to see when he died that he was an old man. Right. And then he lived his life kind of recklessly and did all kinds of, like, took a lot of chances. Right. Because he knew that, he, was, according to that, he was going to die at an old age. So, I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm, I'm happy just, you know going through one day at a time. Uh, A different study says uh, they're urging the release of all nonviolent criminals who are in prison on drug charges. A new study says that that's one of the things that they're working on is anybody that's in prison for a nonviolent crime that has to do with drugs. uh, They did a study saying this would be a a better plan. So I've got a link to both of those in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A a Florida school, a dean at a charter school, and his wife are accused of supplying drugs and alcohol to their underage babysitter. Not once, not twice, but dozens of times. This happened at a Florida charter school. Adam Thayer, he's the dean of the school, and his wife, uh, Misty Mitchell Thayer, accused of supplying underage teen babysitter, who is now 17, by the way, uh, back then it was, she was even younger, with beer and marijuana whenever they went out. They also encouraged the teen to, quote, wow. get high and drink on the job, end quote. She said, uh, get drunk, pass the mm-hmm out. If you want to smoke, Adam has some weed there, according to a text that was sent to the oh, teen. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> yeah. Now, this happened at their home. How is she supposed to watch your kids? I don't know. This happened at their home. It didn't happen at the school, but the fact that he's the dean of a school has been really pulled into this. Yeah. Anyway, the the whole thing turned into a big, fat, hairy deal. Not a good thing. Uh, And anyway, they've uh, been arrested, will be formally charged at a later time. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the news again. Uh, There's two stories here. We're going to start with this one. A new book called Finding Freedom claims that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a terrible year because their nanny moved back to the U.K., so they're saying <laughs> okay. that's, that's why their year was And then uh, story number two about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They're expected to reunite with the royal family this spring for the first time since Brexit. And the interesting thing is there's a lot of folks talking about how that meeting is going to go down. And they're like, yeah, I would not want to be 
I don't know. Maybe it would be fun to be in the room. HBO has confirmed plans to do a revival of the TV show Sex and the City. And that's going to be on their HBO Max platform, whatever that is. And it is Sex and the City. A lot of people online were saying Sex in the City. Two different things. Uh, The Sex in the City is completely wrong. It's always been Sex and the City. I actually had a chance to talk to the lady that wrote the original book that created all of this stuff. It was a long, long time ago. Either way, get a link to all that in the the show notes. I think so. I would hope not. That's just nasty at this point. I... (laughs) I didn't ask, but thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Time now for your scoop of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of GiftCardChallenge.org. I have a public service announcement to start things off, Heidi. Okay. This is really important stuff. It says, The American College of Foot and Ankle Surgeons reminds us in the winter months here that falls on icy surfaces are a major cause of ankle sprains and fractures. So what they I'm so glad what they're they saying is ice that. is slippery. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> I really shouldn't joke about it because I did slip on the ice one time, and I'm pretty sure I broke my ankle. Me and too. Then, then I walked it off, which is not a good broke plan. Broke my ankle and messed up my knee really bad. But and the good news walked is walked it off like a champ. The like good a news boss. is now the two of us can also tell you when it's going to rain. I'm like, ooh, I can feel it. I'm like, I think it's going to rain. According to my weather ankle, (laughs) Uh, Madonna is being criticized for visiting five countries in the past three weeks, despite strict travel restrictions around the globe. Yeah. Rules uh, for thee, but not for me. And a, uh, yeah, there's a a link if you want to read the story. A video has gone viral of a teenager in China who got his tongue stuck to a flagpole in three degree temperature. What does that instantly make you think of? A Christmas story. Yeah, the movie A Christmas Story. And our friend Scott Schwartz is the guy who got his tongue stuck to the flagpole in that movie. So I had to send that to him, of course, because, well, I'm just a weirdo. Environmental crusader Bill Gates is being criticized online after putting in a bid to buy the world's largest private jet operator just one week before releasing a book about combating climate change, which does seem kind of odd. So people are not being very polite about any of that online. Um, Two stories from zoos, which is kind of cool. The first story... Two gorillas have tested positive for COVID at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. So that's not good. I'm sad to hear that. And you know how hard it's going to be to teach them how to use Zoom? I mean, (laughs) (laughs) just kidding. I I don't think they're going to have to learn how to use Zoom. And then uh, that was uh, two gorillas in San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And then where's the other one? Oh, right here. The world's oldest orangutan passed away at the Oregon Zoo, uh, euthanized on Sunday. Uh, Inja, I-N-J-I, was 61 years old. An orangutan, 61 years old. That's kind of cool. Sad to hear that, uh, that she's gone. And I don't know what all was going on there. Um, six inmates escaped from a California jail uh, over the last weekend, uh, Sunday, and uh, remain at large. So that's kind of weird. Uh, it might not be now. This was I got this story like Wednesday of last week, so who knows. Uh, world's largest conference for chili peppers is going online. No, no, not the red hot chili peppers, just the actual chili peppers. New Mexico State University preparing to host a huge conference February 2nd, and it's all virtual this year. The University Chili Pepper Institute has been organizing this conference for about 30 years. The conference draws experts in breeding and processing and pest management and sustainable ways to give growers a competitive advantage when it comes to chilies. And chili has long been one of New Mexico's signature crops. And I don't know if you know this, Heidi. It is the state vegetable. I did not know that. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a state vegetable. Me either. I wonder what ours is. I don't know. I have to check it out. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Oh, by the way, I do have a link to that. Uh, if you want to get on the conference for the chili thing, I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. 
That's insurancechicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show on A Movie Star Monday. Our guest today is Bill Leff. You might remember him from the movie Major League or Major League Two, but he's got another really fun career and something really cool that he's doing right now. He's working with Me TV. They've brought back Saturday morning cartoons, and he's hosting a thing called Tune In with me. Mr. Leff, how you doing? John, I could not be better. How are you doing? I am fantastic. Now, I grew up watching Saturday morning cartoons and, and watching you know all the, the, the great tunes that were talking about here and it's really neat that me tv is kind of bringing this back and you get to be the host how cool is that i have won the jackpot i mean this <laughs> is like the lottery 10 times over for me like yourself i grew up on cartoons it was a, a part of every day before i went to school there was a show i grew up in chicago there was a show called ray rayner that i watched every morning when i got home from school it was cartoon town with bill jackson on saturdays it was every network just blasting cartoons for hours and nobody's really been doing it, and the bosses here at MeTV said, we gotta, we got to fix that, and they did. And they've brought a, a lot of really cool stuff back, but let's just talk specifically about the cartoons that you're hosting. What are the names that, that people listening are going to recognize instantly? Well, it's all the classics from the golden age of animation. It's, it's Popeye, both the black and white and the color versions. It's Merry Melodies. It's all the Warner Brothers classics, the Looney Tunes. you got Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Tweety, the Roadrunner, Tom and Jerry. It's the list just goes on and on. They've built up this library that is just second to none. Hundreds and hundreds of cartoons, some you've seen before, some you've never seen, but it really does. It brings you back to a time when, as you just said, it's Saturday morning, you got your pajamas on, you're eating a bowl of cereal, you got chocolate milk, the cartoons are running, everything in the world is great. Absolutely. And Now, which one is your favorite? Do you have a favorite cartoon? Yeah, I like the old black and white Max Fleischer cartoons because there's just so much animation Animation. This is when animation was all done by hand. I know now it's done mostly by computer, and it looks good now. But when you see those classics, nothing comes close to just the fun that you can watch in every one of these cartoons. Everything's moving. Everything's bobbing up and down. The birds, the plants, the trees, everything's moving at all times. It's just fun to watch them. Now, if people want to tune in and watch this, I'm going to throw a link to uh, the MeTV website so they can find it locally. But uh, what, what time is your program? on so people can tune in and watch you. In most of the country, in the Eastern Time Zone and the Pacific Time Zone, it goes from 7 to 8. In the Midwest, in the Central Time Zone, it's on 6 to 7, and that's Monday through Friday. And then MeTV does a three-hour block of cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons, and that's on at the same time, uh, 7 o'clock on both of the uh, Pacific and the, uh, the Eastern Seaboard, and then the Center in the Central Time Zone, we go 6 to, seven on, uh, six to 9 on Saturday. And the thing that's really cool, this is an opportunity for a lot of parents to watch shows, maybe with their children or grandparents to watch shows with their grandchildren, shows that they grew up watching. And they kind of just disappeared for a while, but they're back now. And and I love the fact that that they're doing it every morning. And it's just really kind of neat to have it on Saturdays because, like, to me, that's where cartoons, for whatever reason, seem to belong on Saturday morning. John, I can't tell you how many times I've turned, I've got up early on a Saturday and I flipped on one of the networks. And it's all news shows or infomercials, all the great cartoons that we grew up with weren't really being shown at a time you need to see them. The world is a crazy place right now, and these cartoons just bring you back to such a happy time. It's really very therapeutic to see them, I think. Well, I appreciate you taking some time to chat. Let's talk a little bit about your career before this, because you've got a really fun career as well. Let's talk about who Bill Leff is. All right. I uh, started out at Second City in Chicago, did that for a little bit, went on to do stand-up comedy for 10 years, had a great time doing that, had some movie roles along the way. I was in the Major League movies, uh, pretty good part in those movies, did a couple of TV shows, uh, radio all around Chicago, and, and now this, now tune in with me. And this is such a fun thing to be doing right now, and, and I think, uh, like you said in the very beginning, you hit the jackpot. This, I, I think this would be a really fun job to have, so congrats on this one. Thank you. I, there are times where I can't believe I lucked into this. Every day when I get up and I'm driving to work and I'm thinking about the day's script that we're going to be doing, I just say to myself, I don't know how I could have been in a better place than this. I'm very, very fortunate. Well, Bill, we appreciate the time. And, and again, thanks for bringing back the cartoons on MeTV. We appreciate it. You're more than welcome, John. See you uh, hopefully Monday through Friday. Take care. Absolutely. Again, Bill Leff, tune in with me Monday through Friday on MeTV. And then they've got Saturday morning cartoons. And that is on, oh, yes, Saturday morning on me TV. I'll throw a link to all of it in the show notes for today at John and Heidi show.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. 
Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The heads on Easter Island have bodies. Yeah, the iconic stone heads protruding from the ground on Easter Island are familiar to many, but a lot of people don't realize what lies beneath the surface. In the tens, so I don't know what that means, the 10th century? Anyway, whenever, archaeologists studying the hundreds of stones, statues on the Pacific Island, excavated two figures revealing full torsos, which are as, as high as 33 feet. So we just see the head poking out of the top, but wow, there's much. Wow, that more. would be yeah. cool. They should dig those out. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's interesting stuff. Thanks for listening to today's Fun Fact on the John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get Get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, Mexico. Uh, Here's the story. Mexico City has opened their restaurants in defiance of the coronavirus lockdowns. So in Mexico City, they just said, we're opening the doors. Now, we just read a story, was it a week ago? Maybe within the last week, that Mexico City has seen a huge surge in incoming people moving there. And and they were moving there because they wanted to get away from restrictions elsewhere. Yep. So um, interesting stuff. I've got a link to the story if you want to read the details. I don't know any more than what I just told you. That's all I have. But there is a link in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com This story kind of upsets me. I just think it's really sad that this happened. But a a South Florida nurse is charged with using over uh, $400,000 in illegally obtained COVID funding for his own personal expenses. 55-year-old Geraldo Carballo of Miami used some PPP loan money and also an economic injury disaster loan after he submitted some fake info about his real company, Professional Skills, Inc. He claimed to have 28 workers with an average monthly payroll of $168,000. Turns out that wasn't real. Uh, $400,000 in funding that came through to him that didn't go to other businesses that were struggling that needed it. So he's getting himself in all kinds of trouble. Good, rightfully so. Um, Says here, uh, let me see, does it have... It doesn't say what is going to happen exactly, but he was charged and he's being arrested. 55-year-old in Miami, I've got a link to the story if you want to read all the details. It kind of has a a bunch of stuff here that I don't understand, but that doesn't surprise anybody. Thanks for listening. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Tampa, Florida police say a 51-year-old by the name of Scott Anthony Massa was hospitalized with injuries after burning himself when he was trying to set his home on fire. Oh, that's a shame. He broke a window at a home at 5.40 a.m. Then, according to police, he tried to throw a bucket full of accelerant into the home, but he ignited it, and it exploded, setting him on fire. The residence was not set on fire. No occupants were injured. Canine units tried to find him. Uh, They said the trail was lost after he got into a vehicle and drove away. After the description was put out, his injuries were broadcast. All officers got a chance to see that, and they found him at a hospital. He showed up to the facility, quite obviously injured, Right. taken into custody in the burn unit. His vehicle was impounded. Arson investigators are taking the lead to determine appropriate charges. But what in the world was he? Yikes. And I guess it doesn't necessarily say that it was his home, trying to set fire to a, a home. home. 
Yeah, at first I thought it was his home, but I don't know whose home. Now well, that's a shame. Yeah, it's not <laughs> not a good thing to do. It is today's moment of duh. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida? Or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Fake news or Florida? A Florida man was arrested for stealing a car after he drove it to court to face charges for Grand Theft Auto. Fake news or Florida? Oh, gosh. I'm going to say Florida. I'm going to give you credit, even though it says fake news, because right behind the fake news, it says this did actually happen, but it was in Connecticut. Okay. So they I sa- remember reading. I yeah, remember the story. They sent this as a way to trick Heidi to yeah, see if she does pay did. attention. But I, I was giving you credit either way. If you would have said fake that. news, you would have gotten credit. But since you said uh, Florida and I it really that. happened. I do and, remember it happening because yeah. I remember us reading that Nice story. try, though. <laughs> trying to... You know who's going to... I would take the wrath for that. Not you. <laughs> you do that to me all the time. If you would like to it slip in... somewhere else. It's not Florida. A fake news or Florida story, you can do that at the bottom of the page, johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of giftcardchallenge.org, which is a place to go and, you know, make your own good news. But I love this story. Uh, Wendy's manager is making a difference one I love you at a time. This happened in the state of Washington. She said, I just wanted my customers to know that they are loved. April Didana, D-I-D-O-N-N-A. I I love that name. I've never heard it before. April Didana tells her customers at the drive-thru that she loves them. And they say it back to her. And she said, I I got a tally on the wall. So far, there are 2,549 people that she's had a chance to say that to. That is awesome. It began October the 3rd. So that's not a long time ago, really, when you think about it. The idea just came to her to tell a customer, you know what? Thanks for coming. Love you, man. And the guy said, yeah, I love you, too. And now she's got a little sign. Uh, She took a photo, and it says, uh, I love you. You are loved. You matter. You do you. I love you. And then it says 10-3 through 12-28, 2,549 I love yous. Uh, That's how many people said it back to her. So she said it to more people, but that's how many people actually said, I love you too. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of a way to let folks know that they do matter. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about it. Um, I I wonder if Heidi's going to join this. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. That's a little (laughs) creepy. I mean, I could say, I could see saying, you matter. Yeah. But to say, I love you, that's a, that's bizarre. I say that to all my friends. I say that to my family members. I say that, I say that to everybody that I really do love, but I would never walk up to a stranger and say, hey. I love you. Wow. That's weird. Would you? Heidi's, no, you wouldn't. Heidi's a bit of a hater today. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's weird. <laughs> hey, you do you. She does her. <laughs> love you, Heidi. <laughs> love you, John. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.